Hello, good afternoon. Um, this is Sister Tayo. Um, happy Sunday to you. Um, today is Sunday, October the 18th. And I'm sure we are all in church right now. Um, worshipping God and uh, fellowshipping with the brethren. For those of us who um, the lockdown, who have had the lockdowns lifted in our countries. Amen. Um, today is um, the title of today's daily devotion as Preserve preserve the harvest and the daily devotional that i'm sharing is the open heavens daily devotional for 2020 compiled by um, the general overseer of the redeemed christian church of god pastor ea and uh, i'm sharing this daily devotional because the spirit of god led me to do so at the beginning of this year um, as i prepared to enter 2020 2020 has been a very eventful year but to god be the glory in everything we give thanks amen um, and what Pastor Adeboye does is that he will give you a few scriptures to read, a memory verse that helps you to understand the body of the text. Also, Pastor Adeboye led me to cry. I became a Christian. I became a born-again Christian when uh, Pastor Adeboye came to my university, University of Lagos, in 1997, October. And that was the day I gave my heart to Christ. And that was the day I became a Christian. Amen. It's a very special day. You don't forget the day you got, you got saved because... There was a transformation, a change, a catapulting from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. Something happened and something changed. It's impossible for you to forget. It's impossible for me to forget. Amen. Praise God. Um, today, the title of today's daily devotional is Preserve the Harvest. Okay. And Pastor is, um, the, 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 we have three verses to read. Um, and they're taken from the book of Matthew chapter 28 from verses 18 to 20. Matthew chapter 28, 18 to 20. And in this particular chapter, Jesus Christ had been crucified. He had been buried. He had risen from the dead. And he had now appeared to the disciples. Amen. And in verse 18, he gives us, he gave them the matching orders, which is the same matching orders for the church. He said from verse 18, and Jesus came and spake unto them saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the ends of the world, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Praise God. He said, all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth because now he had um the Bible says he took the key of hell and of death from Satan. Amen. Now, the key of hell and of death is in the hands of Jesus Christ. And when he ascended into heaven, all power, God the Father gave him all power in heaven and on earth. So, and he has commanded us that we should go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And we should teach them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always even unto the end of the world. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the same, um, the memory verse for today is also from the same um, chapter, the same verses we read, Matthew 28, 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Preserve the harvest is the title of today's daily devotion. Our pastor says, it is one thing to be able to gather a harvest. It is another thing entirely to preserve it. It's sad that while the church is making valiant efforts to gather plentiful harvest through evangelism, numerous outreach programs, and even less and less is being done um, through numerous outreaches and programs, even less and less is being done to preserve the souls that are one for Christ. Many souls are one to Christ on a daily basis, but how many will eventually remain in the body of Christ as committed Christians? Pastor says that in Matthew 9, 37, Jesus laments the scarcity of people committed to keeping his harvest. Then said he unto his disciples, truly, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. You know, and pastor says that many Christians are like drainages, always receiving emoluments yet without productivity. This is very dangerous. As Jesus says, he would take such people out of his vine. In John 15 verse 2, he says, Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth that it may bring forth more 
fruit okay praise the lord so first pastor is saying here is that um um regularly souls are being saved you know we preach the gospel people come to the knowledge of our lord jesus christ um but then you know are they abiding and that's why he said we should make disciples of all nations i remember when i got born again i was the first in my family to become born again and i didn't know how to run the race uh, but the spirit of god guided me to one of my neighbors who at that time was attending winner's chapel as god will have it i started um i wasn't attending winner's chapel i was then attending another church but my pastor in that church then sponsored me to not really sponsored me but he encouraged me to attend the bible school in winner's chapel amen from there my neighbor prayed with me and i started speaking in tongues um you know so and i i became discipled hallelujah i began to as um hezekiah said grow root downward and bear fruit upward amen a pastor says the parable of the talents teaches that the lord expects every one of his children to diligently put their talents and special gifts into profitable use for the advancement of his kingdom if you fail to be fruitful or productive then you are guilty of receiving the grace of god in vain becoming an unprofitable servant I pray that you will never be guilty of being an unprofitable servant in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, Amen. Do everything. Pastor says we should do everything within our power to be one of the few faithful liberals of the Lord Jesus Christ today. Work very hard to win souls for Christ. And more importantly, preserve every harvest God brings your way through the work of other evangelists. This brings to remembrance, you know, when God said that Paul planted Apollos water, but God gave the increase. Um, the pastor is saying here is that there are some people that I will lead to Christ that I will never see again, you know. So I've planted, and then God will bring that person along the path of somebody else. And God expects that Christian that to nurture this new Christian that has come along their way. That person uh, is watering, and then God will then give the increase. Amen. So Pastor Deboe led me to Christ. Um, but I actually grew up under bishop oedepo's ministry because i that was where uh, you know i started learning about the word of god amen so pastor deboy planted and bishop oedepo watered and other pastors that god used um what had you know i began to learn from them hallelujah and with the holy spirit bringing the increase and that's what god is saying to us and i said to those who go around criticizing pastors uh criticizing those who are laboring uh in the gospel in the, in the vineyard of god that's not what god sent you to do god doesn't like it he hasn't put the judgment of any pastor or prophet into the hands of anybody it doesn't matter how much a christian you are god doesn't like that it's like you are undoing the work he hasn't sent that's not the work god sent us to do god sent us to go into the world to preach all the gospel not to be a judge amen so do face your front Face your front and do what God has called you to do and stop uprooting the work that the Holy Spirit is doing. Amen. Um, I'm speaking specifically to the internet pastor. God does not like it and um, he's commanding men everywhere to repent. Amen. Pastor says, do everything within your power to be one of the few faithful laborers of the Lord Jesus Christ today. Work very hard to win souls for Christ and more import importantly, preserve every harvest God brings your way through the work of that other evangelist pastor says may we not be found guilty of receiving the grace of god in vain in the mighty name of jesus christ um as i was reading this daily devotional <laughs> in, in this daily devotional pastor puts together hymns you know um and so the hymn today is hold the fort and you know the bible says that we should um, um sing his psalms and um singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs is one of the ways of um, walking in the spirit amen and i sang that hymn hold the fourth i I didn't know the, the the words but i went into youtube got the words and was singing along amen so i encourage you to do the same now the prayer point for today is father please help me to win souls and preserve the great harvest for you in the mighty name of jesus christ and praise god you know you we may be like some of us are still on lockdown things have not really opened in some nations but um you can pray in tongues amen you can intercede for souls that um god will help uh new christians to stand perfect and complete in the, all the will of god that god will raise paul's and apollos to water 
and to plant in Jesus' name. So you can do that. Even if you cannot go out, we can. That's why it's good to pray in the Holy Spirit for we pray God's perfect will. The prayer point is, Father, please help me to win souls. Help me to preserve the great harvest for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we pray that when you come back, you will find faith in the earth. You will find faith in us in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, thank you for um, staying with me as I share today's daily devotion. I pray that it has blessed you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you. Thank you. And have a glorious day at church.